G'day mates, this is my attempt at a shorter help video for the Desolation mod created by Wirt and EQ version 0.2.4.21 hotfix 8 you'll need to download Anomaly 1.5.1 so here's the web page, here's the download button I shall provide a link down in the, in the description here you can also click the add-ons button and this will take you to all the mods that are available at the time there are hundreds of them for you to go through and discover and have fun with so that's there for you as well the second thing you'll need to do is click the link to Woot's modding corner I have that in the description as well it'll take you to the discord page and then from there you click on the release announcement button that you can see here and you just scroll up a little bit and you're going to find desolation 0.2.4.21 just there, download it. Secondly, go to the updates section where I've just clicked, scroll up, and you will find the hotfix 8 zip file as well. Download that. Now to begin with, we're going to need to install Anomaly 1.5.1. This version of Desolation mod will not work with version 1.5.2. So I'm going to go through and install this and show you how I do it. I'm going to go through and create a new folder. I'm going to call it Anomaly Test. And then I'm going to grab the files and copy them over. Now as this is finishing up, I did fast forward it. We're going to go through and run the game at least once. Now as you can see, the game is set for DirectX 11. I normally set the shadow map down to the lowest one, which is 1536. And then you do not need to worry about deleting the shader cache on your first run. Run the game. Now the game is running. It's done everything it needs to do in the background. All you need to do now is simply quit the game. Now once you have done that, you need to go through and find your Desolation Hotfix 8 file that you've downloaded off the Discord page and go into it and grab the bin folder that's there that I'm circling and copy that directly into your anomaly installation overriding the files now go through and load up your web page and type in mod organizer 2 and you should see this option here go through and click on that and it'll take you to the mod organizer 2 web page once you've done that you'll be looking for the github link it's the easiest one to go and get it from you're looking for the .exe file you want to download that one now boot up your mod organizer.exe file now just follow the prompts except for when you get to your installation hit the browse button find your installation in this case it is anomaly test click on that and then backslash modor m-o-d-o-r mod organizer and click next and then you just continue on clicking next and making adjustments as you go through uh, to what you want mod organizer should start installing now I've skipped this part and we move on to the actual mod organizer itself now I already have this installed but when you first install it you're going to come up with this screen creating a new instance hit next now you're going to be going for a global instance whereas in this case I'll be using a portable instance because I already have a global you're going to go through and browse the files until you find uh, where you've installed it. In my case, it's anomaly test on C drive. Now it should automatically detect where it needs to go. And then simply click next and then continue and finish. And it should start your instance. A fresh canvas from which to paint on. Now you just need to simply right click anywhere on the canvas. Click on install mod. And we're going to start installing desolation. Now it's recommended that you at least fill out the name of the mod when you install it so it makes it easier for you later on. Click the manual button and go through and uncheck the bin folder and uncheck the patch notes if you wish. As you can see, all the files are there and everything is okay. So simply go down and press okay and it should start installing. Now you do the same thing for the hotfix. Right click on the canvas, find where your file is, go through, make sure you rename it properly first press manual, uncheck the bin files, uncheck the patch notes if you wish, away you go. Now before we go any further, if you are having any issues with desolation, as in uh, it seems to be a little bit choppy, seems to be a little bit um, 
little bit all over the place. It's continuously loading. I was having this issue as well. You can go through and delete the weapon S file. I will show you how to do that. You'll have to delete it from both the hotfix and the desolation installs. And for me, this enhanced my gain significantly. Um, it allowed me to run mods that I wasn't able to run before. So it was a significant power increase for me. May not be the same for you, but it was told to me by the creator of the DUS mod, a mod that adds a lot of attachments, guns, etc. to the game. One of the higher level modders of Desolation. His Discord name is Do Liu. Do Liu? Something like that. It's on the screen anyway. But thanks for this, mate. And uh, I'll share it with all of you. So first of all, I'm going to remove it from the hotfix. So simply right-click the install. Go down to View and Explorer. Double-click Game Data. Go down to Shaders. And then you want R3. And then you're looking for Model, Models, Underscore, Weapons, Dot, S. Delete that file. Then do the same for Desolation. And you should be good to go. Now we can go through and run Desolation, and I can go through a couple of other things before we end the video. Go through and click Desolation and the hotfix. Just tick them so that they're active, and then press the Run button. Don't worry about the Debug Mode button, that's more for me. Just go through and click Delete Shader Cache, and press Play Stalker Anomaly. We will come back to the Debug Mode in another video later on. Now, first of all, go to settings, go to gameplay, and you're going to find your desolation specific settings there. Okay, you're going to have a whole list of things that you can mess around with and play with. So commonly for me, I will tag the cover weapon compression system, and then you can go through and tag the alternate pricing system if you wish, if you find that the price is maybe a little too expensive. And then I like to go through and enable magazines. It just adds another good level of gameplay. Now, the desolation specific controls. What you need to do is go into your keybinds and go all the way down to the bottom. I'm going to freeze frame this and I'm going to go over these settings from top to bottom. I'll give you a brief rundown of what each one of these do. Now, vanilla site, module site. What this means is it will switch between your iron sites on the weapon and the site that you have installed, the main site, okay? Your second option there, switch between modular sites, will switch between the site that you have installed on the gun and the secondary site that you have installed on the gun, usually with a 45 degree angle. Now, when you want to activate your sites, you're going to have to flip between these two buttons to get the site to work. So it could be vanilla and then switch, and then back to vanilla again, and that will activate the site. The second option there is site adjustment button, horizontal, vertical. So looking on your screen, it will go left, right, up, down. So you can move that site to wherever you want it positioned on your monitor. The site adjust, adjustment depth button basically means that the gun will, the site will move further away from you and closer towards you. Cycle scope magnification. Some sites will have different magnifications from 1x to 4x to 12x, 24x. You're able to switch between all of those zooms. The ignore pip dev button, I don't use. I have no idea what that does. Activate, deactivate night, sight, night vision scopes. There are some sites that have night vision implemented in them. DUS mod has a couple of sites. The standard desolation does as well. And I think RDAP does as well. I can't quite remember. But this button will activate the night vision on those scopes. Okay. The Y axis offset dev. No idea. I don't use it. Cycle on off accessories. Basically, this just means it will cycle between your laser and your torch on the weapon. These are installed separately. 
but we will cover that in another video right so the last thing i want to cover is this screen here it's a common problem everyone has when they are running directx 11 version of desolation now the way to fix this is to go to your settings go to your advanced video card settings and there is an option there called anti-aliasing turn that off save apply the setting and then exit to windows now everything should be all good as you can see now just be aware that this is directx 11 only now also in directx 11 you can go through and you can see all of your components on the gun these are just specialist stuff that is only for directx 11. if you run the game in directx 10 as i've tested um, you will not see all of the cool things that happen on the gun in your inventory as i was saying you won't see the little bits and pieces on the on the icon and um, the screen will not have that sort of blur effect around the scope in directx 10, uh, 10. directx 9 i'm unsure about that one um, but i know that directx 8 does not work too well with desolation uh, from what i understand i've never tested it so don't take my word for it and that may also be for directx 9 as well i am not too sure now hopefully i have covered everything um, for this particular video this was focused more on installation and small problems and issues that uh, people bring up in the discord all the time uh, if by happenstance Woot or EQ happen to watch the video or any of the other modders that mod for Desolation it has little issues they would like me to bring up in the next video just DM me on Discord and let me know other than that thanks for watching mates see you next time